Hello everyone, in this INR number 14, we are going to discuss few important points of the aphasia, which was again a very important PYQ, which came in exam. So what is the type of aphasia? We are going to discuss four types, Broca's aphasia, Wernicke's, conduction and global aphasia. So what are the salient features? So when we talk about Broca aphasia, so remember Broca aphasia is also called as expressive aphasia because expression will be defective or sometime it is also called as motor aphasia or non-fluent aphasia. Non-fluent means why? Because that speaking will be not fluent. They will be having broken speech. That name itself is you can see this is the kind of mnemonic broken words will be there broken speech is that speech will be there so that is why it is called as non-fluent aphasia fluency will be not there right so where is the broca area located broca area is located into the inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe so now you can see this is the frontal lobe superior part and this is the inferior part right so inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe this is the area which is called as broca area right so where is the location inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe is the area where broca's areas are located so what will happen if there is a damage of the broca areas so there will be a defective language production because it's a broken speech right so if somebody is speaking brokenly so so it means that that language production is defective why it is defective what is the reason reason for them is left superior middle cerebral artery stroke so when a stroke is affecting right so this is because of left mca involvement right so left superior middle cerebral artery has been damaged because of the cerebral stroke and that is why patient will have Broca's aphasia so in this Broca's aphasia what is important thing that patient will be appearing frustrated because his insight is there that he wanted to speak his insight is intact insight is intact and that is why he is feeling frustrated so as I said this is the mnemonic Broca is broken speech now coming to the Wernicke, Wernicke is also called as receptive aphasia. Remember Wernicke aphasia is also called as receptive aphasia. Also it is called as sensory aphasia or fluent aphasia. Fluent means his fluency is there, right? His fluency is there but he will be not talking the senseful words, right? So that is why sometimes we say that word salad. We come sometimes we say that Wernicke is a word salad and they will make no sense right so where is the Wernicke area in our brain so when you see the cerebral cortex Wernicke area is located in the temporal lobe and where in the superior part of the temporal lobe so superior temporal gyrus of the temporal lobe is having Wernicke area so this is the Wernicke area right so now you understand superior temporal gyrus of the temporal lobe will be having Wernicke area and in this patient when Wernicke area is damaged you will see the impaired language comprehension so language comprehension will be defective for this patient so he cannot speak the proper senseful words or you can say he will make word salad and he will speak something which will be having no sense right so now in this patient because it is a sensory aphasia the patient will be having no insight right conduction aphasia if you look at here broca and occipital lobe they are connected by arcuate fasciculi and this fasciculus when it is getting damaged that will be causing conduction aphasia right so arcuate fasciculus will be damaged by con in conduction aphasia and in global aphasia global aphasia both broca and Wernicke area will be damaged so when you find both Broca and Wernicke is damaged that will be causing global aphasia so keep learning and enjoy learning best wishes for your exam